New water problems in parts of Jackson. Some people in Fondren having trouble with water pressure. WJTV 12's Tara Thomas investigates. For some people in Fondren, there has been very little to no water at all for over a week. Water pressure has been so low that what does drip out of their faucets is almost non-existent. Uh, the past week, the pressure has been really low. It's almost down to a trickle. I mean, you really can't do anything with it. I hope you can see this. It is barely a trickle of water coming out of this shower. Simple daily tasks like showering have been very difficult for a lot of Fondren residents lately, especially in the morning time when they wake up and this is all they have to work with. Perrin Knight, who lives near State Street, says he's very frustrated. It's a task of showering for one, brushing my teeth. I mean, it's really a headache. The only relief that I have is that I have relatives located between where I'm living in Fondren and to my job site, so I'm basically stopping there to do the basic things that I have to do. People affected say they have no idea what's happening, although it seems the problem has occurred with the extensive repaving project along State Street. No idea. I haven't seen any notices. I mean, I have no idea. Near the construction sites, water is intentionally released from the lines into the streets of the neighborhoods and is often seen gushing from hydrants and manholes. There's one down State Street that has run for days. I haven't seen it running lately, though, but before that, it was running for days. He says he wishes the city communicated such serious matters to those who would be affected. Instead, he turns to an app which connects neighbors and helps them to discuss things affecting their families. Time I'll catch people talking about boil water notices, if there are outages or anything. I get more information there than from the city. WJTV has reached out to the city communications director as well as the city public works director for an explanation and an estimated time that water will be restored. They have yet to get back with us, but will certainly update you as soon as they do. In Jackson, Tara Thomas, WJTV 12.